How you guys doing? Legendary Dash as always. Send them again. And we're here to light on uh, we're here to review season three, episode 19. Elder Wisdom. Of Young Justice Season 3 Outsiders Part 2, guys. And guys, comment below your thoughts about this episode. What did you guys think about it? Like the video too and subscribe if you want more anime new content. And on that, guys, let's get straight to our review. So what did you think, Sam? I actually like this episode. It really was bring it's to really bring in the parents of this whole thing. We finally see one of the Justice League. We see Flash after so long. Yeah. And, and um, we see Wonder Woman on a computer and hologram. Mm-hmm. And we also see the older generation, like Jake Garrett, like the, the original Flash. Yeah. Probably. And the, we also see the other parents too, but they're not the special parents or superhero, that sort of thing. But it give the kids the counseling or a talk between the kids and the parents of Agreed. what it means to be a, a hero. And the parents' worst fear is to have their kids dying. And they don't want to see any more kids to die in that sort of way. And what I love about this episode, the writing was much better in this episode than the previous episode with the whole jokes and the puns were bad. But this writing was so much better. And also I love how they um, did the transition with the cuts and everything. Like um, showing of the conversation between Halo and between um, Briam and Tara. But then transition to the other parents and nice. with the lines um, connecting with each other. So I love about the transition with this episode. I love how we saw the ambassador of the land of Terrasteria. Huh? No, Damsteria. Yeah, uh, Damsteria and also the land of Atlantis. So I love how we have the new ambassadors because we had we had Tagni Dino, that was to the previous. Now is um uh Troy. Mm -hmm. Donna Troy. And then we have uh I forgot what's the guy that replaced Alkalad, um uh, What's his name? I think it's Aquaboy or something like that. Well, so well he became, I, I, think. I think he became the new Aqualad since the original Aqualad became, became Aquaman. Aquaman. So he became the new Aqualad, so that's pretty cool. But I forgot his actual name. Um, but that was pretty cool to see him. And, and Lex Luthor, I love how his plans always go to fail, but that somehow he knows how to jump from from his fail point yeah. to his uh, you know next plan, transitioning to that. Because like, we always see Lex Luthor, his plans always comes into fruition, but he's never pissed, he's never angry, but he's like he's like it's actually fall to the other plan. Like he's like you know don't worry about this, it's not a mission fail because you got this right. Yeah. And the mission like, complete. Plan number one was to uh, make the to make the outside look, look ugly. Bad. So I love that that he hey. The plan, the plan two of it was to kill the two ambassadors, but hey, mission failed. But point one was to embarrass the outsiders, that was a point. And I love how we saw Lady Shiva and Lady Savage, so that's pretty cool. And I love how Lady Savage is so polite, she's like, um, it's not my place, sir, but can I ask a question? Cause Remember, I wanna... she, she's Vandal Savage's yeah. daughter, like she has no place in talk, especially around her father or anybody in power. That's of the so organization of the light, so I love how she asks it, but also, and then, like, he said like, was like you, don't, you don't learn if you don't ask. You're supposed to ask questions, like, oh, okay, I cool. mean, that's the kind of respect I can get for Lex Luthor, he's not afraid to like, just like, yes, yeah, give me the question, like, just tell yeah. me this sort of stuff. Do you ever wonder if we're gonna see Lex Luthor in his comic book? Armor, if it's the Superman armor or if it's the Lex Luthor, do, do you ever believe if we're gonna see it in this show? I don't mind, cause that, cause this super suit is from his villain suit, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, both, uh, both his good suit of the Superman suit in the comics when he was good, and also his bad suit when he was like, like the Lex Luthor green suit. Both suit I wouldn't mind to see. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see if we're ever gonna see it. I'm just curious to ask if you ever believe that we're well, gonna see it. I I mean, anything is possible at this point because yeah. I never thought in that point that I would ever see Lex Luthor lose. Yeah. Like, he literally lost this fight against Twice. The outsiders. Twice. Not like physically, but literally within the whole media, mental page. Oh, that was my favorite. With him in that sort of way. G. Gordon, um, he made it good. And I love how Lex even transitioned from like, wait, you changed the script during the whole thing, like, yeah, but That's then you played so the wrong side. He like, what you mean? Like, you got, you should go co-op and you should embrace it. I'm like, and I love how Lex just goes with it, like, oh, you're right, I lost, but you know what? I will play the other side. I'm like, I love, I love that about him. And G. Gordon, yo, the way he did it was so slimy throughout it. But it was what, amazing. That's what you have to do for a news reporter. Like, with anything when you're on camera, you have you to, to be, be like, on top of the top game. Of and like the reason why he did that because he got Lex Luthor got blown his cover that it was his factory in that place Dublin. It's all spy, robot monkeys. He got that vendetta, like that. so that's pretty dope. And but that ending though, like wow. I, I I hate to admit it, but I have to be on the side of Wonder Woman. 
I hate to admit it. She's I, right. I got like I understand what Nightwing, Oracle, um, um, uh, Aqualad, and Magan, and all of them are doing because it's a war, and Batman's always fighting a war since day one, since his parents died, and everything's been training and all that. Very true. So we're understandable why he's doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I have to respect him. This is like a but, new level of lowness where you're really closing to the yeah, villain like, side. Like, I, this love, villain I, love, I love what they said. Fake news. One woman said it. You guys are doing fake news. No, you're creating fake, fake news yeah. and, and making things better. And what today's lying society? Lying to the people. Lying to the outsiders and lying to the entire world in that sort of and, way. And plus with today's society, what, what we had not the long ago, fake news and what's going on still slightly. I love how one woman said it. That we are playing in that low bargain game. Like how long are we going to go just to fight this war against the light? And I hate to admit it, I agree on one of the side. I feel like the Justice League has diverged from their model, from their from their end game, from their course, goal. Yeah. So I feel like with with Batman, he's always been right, but with the help of Superman. Mm -hmm. And I feel like without Superman, he he hasn't been told, "Hey, Bruce, you're wrong, you're wrong. This is what we have to do." And I it's, right now I feel like the like, light right now is not there Superman, for Bruce. Superman, he gives you the better side of the judgment. He will give you the motivation. And that's why I feel like Bruce is there without him right now. Without Clark, without Superman. With Basically. him being in space right now, he doesn't have that grounding. He doesn't to have know the anchor to tell him the moral, yes. the moral ground of what's really right and all. But then in this situation, like the Justice League is very in a big disadvantage. And they're ending up having to do what they need to do in order for them to have a chance of winning into this war because and that's what the outsider is for them it is slimy it is wreck it is like underhanded because you're not just lying to the public you're lying to your own team yeah the outsiders like they're younger kids and like they're like 18 younger than that in a sort of way what happened to the original uh, young justice group you didn't have to keep a watch on them you didn't have to throw fake news you didn't have to give them fake mission that it's all rigged out just to make you look like you're popular you gave them a chance and they accomplished on their own. They did watch them, remember? Uh, well, like, keep an eye on them, but not like... The Red Tornado did watch yeah. over them before, remember? Um, Kid Flash and Well, yeah, up. of course. And that's what McGann is for the Outsiders, technically, to watch over yeah. them. Because she's the new leader. But definitely, uh, it is a new low. It's not the same Justice, yeah. Young Justice group from the first season. This is more of a controlled Young Justice group. It's really babysitting, but so... they don't even know it. And that's yeah. the most messed up shit like once they find out the old group knew they were being controlled by red tornado black canary well, teacher but, like, but more being mentored. watched they're more better mentored so but in this situation they're not being mentored at all they're like just still acting like kids and teenager remember how they were like guys we were supposed to have training nope and then they're just playing around playing kids you see beast boy being on his phone and that sort of thing and that's what I don't think that I do, I do agree like, on that. More of a better mentor or a better. Beast Boy is doing good as a leader, but not too great to know that they need training. Yeah. Because Static and Blue Beetle, they have their own powers, but what happened to the other kids who just have simple powers that where Kid Flash needs to know combat, mm -hmm. other stuff, so they need hand to hand combat. If worst case scenario, then you just can't use a power if you're in a on close box on a queue. So I agree on that. So they need better mentor. But overall, Young Justice Season 4 got announced and confirmed, so happy for them. So we're going to continue doing this, guys. And just to add, um, Sam, before we go. I'm glad that we're having Season 4 because this is great stuff. This more content great, great stuff. and more DC Universe. So guys, I'm really excited for this. So let's continue going on with Young Justice and hopefully continue on with the story. And over the writing, it's been going on and off, but the overall story has it's been good. going good. And one thing I want to add last. Hopefully Wally comes back because it's been rumored that he will be, be coming back. But I'm just waiting for that, you know, that Flashpoint type of stuff. That whole uh, new comics type of story to be involved with. It. Yeah, definitely. Especially this whole entire... There's also some jokes into this uh, season as well. Especially with... Uh, with not Wally. Uh, the Flash? Bart? With yeah, the, Bart. I was fine though. Like, he's been in That's good. Like, fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just it was just concussion. I have meta abilities. Thank I can, you. I can heal. Like I'm fine. Though. I love that about that episode. I wish they continue a joke. bit more about it. It was only used three times, so hopefully they continue about it. So last thing I did today. I'm good. So guys, comment kind of below your thoughts about this episode. What do you guys think about it? Like the video as well and subscribe. If you want more anime content, guys? We're almost to 1K. Get us there to 1K. Other than that, guys, see you next the next video. You do everything is down below in the description. Down below every information of anime lady. Hashtag Yonches, we are all outsiders. Peace.